Oh, Mario! Mario updates CAD Plan 4. Adding more stuff. In this video, I'm going to add some more stuff to the CAD plan that we've been working on. And in particular, I'm going to add the topsoil heap. Um, I've asked the Bachelor of Engineering Technology students to actually make a long section of that as part of the assignment. So we needed to take some values along there. So uh, let's um, let's uh, have a bit of a crack at that and uh, see see what we can do um, here. So let's just by way of memory, uh, here's the plan that we're trying to update into a digital uh, a digital version. Um, we'll put this one in um, like into the big screen there like that. And um, over here, I'm going to draw in the, the topsoil heap. But further down the track, um, in another series of videos, we're go I'm going to show you how to draw a long section. So here's the long section here. And uh, from this long section, we can see that th these couple of pegs here, um, peg, uh, t t peg 2 TT, uh, and peg 1 TT. There's 28 metres um, between those. And then we've got these little distances here. That's 3.1, 6.7, and 10 there. And then, uh, oh, 21 out there. I forgot about that one. Out there. And then this one here, a 1.6, 5.4, 10.4. So that's what we're going to have to draw up in that area. So I'm going to use that as the, as the basis uh, four things so we'll just uh, see how that goes so that's going to give us a total length of 59 I'll just uh, up the zooming on that so that's going to give us a total length for the long section of 59.4 59.4 so I'm just going to uh, actually write that down so that I don't forget it and that's 59.4, 59.4. So that's the length of my bit of line there, which I'm going to have to do. All right, so um, let's um, let's uh, get into the to the plan here, and here it is. Here's our plan, and the 59.4. It sort of fits in there. So. Um, I'm just going to go to full screen now and what I'm going to do is just uh, draw a line um, in here uh, I'll just offset that line there and make the sort of center line of the thing there so O for offset and then I'm just going to go uh, T for through okay I'm just going to select that line there and just just put it up there for now okay all right now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to if we look at it now we can see there that that line is uh, 48.039 long and I've written down here 59.4 so we need it to be 59.4 so I'm going to go len which is for length and then I'm going to go T for total, or you can actually just click on the little T there, T, and then it lasts for the total distance. Um, and I'm going to type in there 59.4, and she goes. Okay, and then it just says select the object you want to change. So that's 59.4 there, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that uh, the center line of the of the topsoil heap and I'm just going to get it to go maybe maybe to there like that sort of okay like so all right now um, the topsoil well let's uh, get some uh, let's get some uh, little distances on that there so um, this here is the um, 
I'll just zoom this down a bit. Uh, this is the um, our what's the name long section here, which has got all the information on it. So um, I'll just uh, I do need to actually zoom in uh, maybe here, and we can see that I'll just write down these little distances here. So it starts from naught, and it, it goes uh, zero um, five. Is the oh no sorry uh, yeah zero five uh, is that eight point eight I think it is uh, five point four eight point eight is yes, eight point eight so these are the changes and then we go a ten point four ten point four. And then we go in two meter lots uh, for 28 meters. Okay, so that's the 28 along there. So that would 10.4 plus a 28 would take us to 38.4. Yes, and then we go um, from there, then we go 3.1, uh, 6.7, and uh, 10, 3.1, 6.7, 10, which would take us to uh, 48.4, and then 21, which would take us to 59.4. So that's what we've got um, to sort out along there, just from the the long section of the information that's provided. So uh, let's go to our Autodesk here. All right, so let's um, get this here sorted. Okay, so um, how are we going to do that? Well, I'm just going to go C, Enter. Oops. No, I'm just going to go, well, I might go to Home and uh, Circle. And it's asking me, Specify the center of the circle. Now I've got to turn my snaps on. And there it is there. And the center of the circle. So I'm going to do the first one at 5. Okay, so that's 5. And then I'll just right click and repeat the circle again. And this one will be 8.8. Uh, .8. Okay. And then this one then i'll repeat the circle again repeat the circle and that should be um 10.4 10.4 okay so these are all um, little points or little where we've done little shots and that's actually um that one there um is actually the peg so i'm just going to um i'll, I'll wait till i get the other one so now i'm going to do another another circle um, and this one will start from here, and it'll go for 28. Okay, and that's the 28, so that's where that point there's going to be. And then another circle, um, this time, I was pushed C for circle that time, this time here is 3.1, okay, and repeat again repeat circle i'll just check that this is uh, 21 now that should come right out of there yes c enter um, and that'll go like that uh, and that will be 6.7 okay and then c for circle again and that will be 10. Okay, so they're all the points that we want. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do now, and um, I'll just um, I'll just draw this particular line, and it'll draw it on top. I'll just draw it magenta, just so that we know. So I've just changed that from by layer. Okay, that was by layer. I've changed it to magenta. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just draw in the line with all those little points in it. So it'll go from there to there to there to there. So this will be a whole series of lines. And there's many ways of doing this. This is just my way based on what I know. You might come up. Okay, so that's got all the it is a sequence of lines so we can actually um, delete all those and we can delete all those delete and we can delete all those now there's a line in here underneath the original line which is that one there as you can see it's selecting so let's select that that one there um, and that's our 59.4 and I'm going to delete that okay now what I'm going to do is I think I better just before I go too much further put the little pegs in where the pegs are so that's that there CP for copy and I'll just select the middle of there and we need to find that one there and that one there and we just need to check because that should be 28 meters there uh, yes it is so that's the little 28 meter one there okay so let's see like that now what i'm going to do is i'm going to divide that into two meter things so i go up here to draw and here i go to this one here which is measures measured intervals so that's it there. Select the object to measure, which is that one there. And two meters. And nothing happened. <laughs> but if we go DDP type, DDP type, like that. Um, now what's happened there? DDP type. Um, Oh, here it is here on my second screen the point style there I'll just choose that point style there okay and you can see that there's all the little points that we've um, what we've created so um, I'll just delete that one we don't need that one all right now what I'm going to do is just put a little tick at each one of these so I'll just draw here um, I'll just go um, draw a line here just like this um, oh I'll get that sorted in a minute and just do a line here so I'll just do a line and I'll put that there that's so that's a right angle like that there and then I'll just move this here move that there into the middle there just anywhere on that line okay and then i'm just going to go c enter and i'm just going to draw a circle that's 0.5 diameter or one millimeter now tr for trim tr trim and i can select the circle i'll finish selecting so i right click enter or hit the space bar and that just trims those back there to there and then there's I'll just delete that there and then I can select that and I can move it and that's going to be my little point that I'm going to use okay now I'm going to go CP enter and I'm just going to pick up those end points that I had before So we've got one there, one there, all right, and then at each one of these nodes, like that, okay. So these are just putting all the little points, and this is uh, worth doing because when we come to do the, um, when we come to do the long section, 
this will this will be it all mapped out already so that's not good um, we've got one there so now we should have it's a midpoint this one there one there so I think that was how we had 3.1 6.7 10 oh, there's one up yeah that's right that's that's all right, 3.1, 6.7, 10, and 21. All right, now, um, these, uh, we don't need these points here anymore. I'm finished with those, really. Um, I could put them in the trash layer, I suppose. That would probably be consistent with the advice that I have been giving down the tracks here, or I could delete them, but. Um, I'll put them in the trash layer, which is turned off. Yep, so there we go. That's a little thing there. Now we want this, um, everything through here, we want it to um, be, um, we want that all to be by layer. Okay, so that makes it whatever the layer it is on. And we can see that these... That one there, it should be behind that, and similarly there. Um, so we can go here to draw order, send to the back, and that means our little. So that's um, there. We've still got the um, points on, so we can turn that off with um, DDP type. But it's actually, you if you go to utilities, its point style is there as well. So that's somewhere else that you can turn it off and just put it to the blank one and uh, they all disappear. So that's where that's going in through there. Now, um, I'm going to now just sort of sketch in the topsoil heap. Now, essentially, um, it's, um, I'm going to go make it four meters wide. So let's just go offset and um, the offset distance um, will just go two. Okay, so I'll just hit that one there, that line there, and um, put one there, and then offset, enter, uh, yeah. okay, so that, um, yes, that is about two. I can see it. it's all good and then I'll um, go offset enter I'll put the other one at uh, four meters like that there four uh, uh, two four is that about so it's just a uh, I was checking it there uh, um just something to note there, that distance there is four. Yeah, something to note. This should go back to by layers. When you offset something, it takes on the properties of the, the item that you're offsetting. So now um, I want to put some ends on these. So uh, the way that I'm going to um, do that is um, just with a polyline. Um, so that there's a polyline there, polyline. So I'm just going to go um, like that, sort of, and I'll just zoom in here. Just put a polyline in here like that, like that, like that, and like that. Okay, and then that's a polyline. And then if I go P E polyline edit I can select the polyline and I can just go fit and it makes it into a bit of a curvy sort of end there um, so I'm going to do that here so um, I can go right click and recent input uh, polyline there we go there so I'll put another one here just sort of around there like that 
Um, you know, I seem to have. I'm just going to start that one again. Uh, imp recent input polyline. So I'll just put one sort of there, 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 and there. And then uh, right click recent input polyline edit that one there and we'll just F for fit oh now that doesn't look that flash I have got that so I'll just drag it a bit just sort of a bit more like that just to get a better shape um, there sort of something like that anyway so um, yep um, we can can improve that um, now I'll do this thing thing up the top here as well um, polyline so I'll just do one here it's going to sort of come out here around here through to there across to there down to there down to there Okay, um, polyline edit, and I'll just make that fit. It didn't go so well. Okay, all right, so um, that's a bit wonky as well. Um, just escape out of there, see if I can get that to become a little bit better. Oops. Uh, um, not going quite so well here. Like that there. Like that there. Could possibly come down in there like that a bit. Oh, I'll turn the snaps off. That's probably... It just keeps snapping back to where it was. Uh, that's better. More like that, and that one there, and sort of snap back up there like that. Actually, tidy this one up a bit as well. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So there's our topsoil heap at that end there, um, and I'll just try and sort out this end here. Uh, Isolate. Um, how are we going here for for time? Oh, that's probably a, enough. Probably need to stop here. So um, yes, yeah, so I'll sort out the other end for you there, and uh, then what we'll do? Oh, that one's that should be up here somewhere. What the hell? I missed that. Um, That's not good. Uh, there. Let's just zip that onto there. Mm. Okay, I'll just do this one again. Recent input polyline. No. Um. No, we need to escape out of there. Okay. Um, recent input polyline. Here we go. So we're going to go from here to here to here to there to there to there to there to there back to there. So that will now um, will fit that polyline so we can go oh no got to escape and um, we need to go recent input edit just that one there and we want it to fit we can go if we make it fit it hits all those points if we go spline you can see that spline 
that's not hitting the points uh, so if we um, we we'll have to go undo okay and now we go um, fit and that hmm. Uh, let's just go control Z okay and recent input polyline edit we'll hit that one there and fit and that's not too bad um, I'll just push that maybe around there a bit oh turn the snaps off okay all right so what i'm going to do is actually just leave it there for now and um, i'll tidy that up and come back in the next video i'll also put a little bit of text in there so that we can um, see what's going on so this is the top of the top soil soil and this is where it hits the ground all righty so um yes i think it's uh time to uh just to wind this one up and uh yeah as i say i'll i'll do some tidying up in the meantime and then come back to you and then i think finally um in this series we can uh um just finish up the title block and um plot the plan out cheers see you